Good news, folks. Um, we have cracked the code. I know there's a lot of people who send their uh, their uh, kids to uh, college, and uh, they worry because um, uh, of of all sorts of things. And you know, uh, for modern parents, one of the things you worry about. My kid had a lockdown drill the other day. Is um, is the idea of a, a shooter coming in and killing people? Well. Um, <laughs> A lot of people say we should probably curtail the number of guns and the type of guns and the type of ammunition that people could buy. <laughs> That's silly when there is much more common sense solutions that are on the table. In fact, at Oakland University in Michigan, a um, lot of gun lovers out in Michigan. In fact, I've shot some uh, skeet out there. Um, they've come up with a new plan, and here's Fox to tell us about it. How do you stop a bad guy with a gun? A college in Michigan says use a hockey puck. Hockey coach for my kids when they were growing up and I remember getting hit in the head with a hockey puck once and it hurt. The hockey puck fits really well into your briefcase or your backpack. It doesn't roll around when you're taking out your books. 800 pucks have been sent to Oakland University, faculty members in case of a potential active shooter. Another 1,700 will go to students. Can we get the music as well? What are you talking about? I would like to have I, that honestly, music playing the while idea I'm throwing that that's hockey real. pucks that at a guy. That cannot be real. <laughs> that cannot be real. Did we do a double check on this? Got a good deal on some hockey honestly, pucks. Honestly, I know it's on Fox, but maybe they got hoodwinked. And they got crisis actors to say that it's Well, no, maybe. Look, I mean, the hoodwinking is going to be... If Fox the, is not... Be, uh, if that's not like the yes men or something like that, that just feels like to me it's a yes men. I think it's a Michigan hockey puck uh, manufacturer. It is that... The idea that that is the response to the gun crisis. Like, you would do more to actually inhibit the chances of having a, an, a, a, a shooting event at that campus by simply like holding a protest and saying that we should um, we should have more gun control like that like talk about butterfly wings the the idea that someone's going to take the hockey puck out and throw it well they say it's very easy to carry around with you but i got to say if i'm preparing to save myself from a mass shooting with hockey pucks i'm going to carry more than one no because you're not ever going to be in a moment thinking that guy's got a gun. Ah, fortunately, in my pocket, I have a hockey puck. You don't think you throw I'm going well? to throw it at his head. You don't head. throw well? You, don't, you only need, I feel like I would only you know need what they one. Say. I was a pitcher in Little League. I you mean, know what they say? Hard. You should always bring a puck to a gunfight. Exactly. But, no, they say you should honestly, always bring a puck to I a mass shooting. I feel very confident about my throwing arm. That looks like I, a medieval sort of. That yeah. does. That no, like I have this just in case somebody. we have an open shooter in the uh, studio. And I'm just going to throw it at their head. And it, believe me, this will hurt. I mean, oh God, I think Ow. it can't be real. I mean, well, it can be real. Safe. Maybe we're being a bit too judgmental. Imagine if <laughs> a kid pulled a gun out in a s classroom and every single student threw a hockey puck at them at that moment. Mm. All right. So. It sounds cool. The You'd probably lose two or three kids. Yeah. Maybe two or three. But. You would probably take that guy out. Then you can go play hockey. Okay, I'm being informed that NPR is reporting on this as well. It's I not know. a joke. No, I know. Brendan just said no, that. No, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. So that's, <laughs> wow. I, I can't believe that's real. It could being be. Being resourceful. It could, it could be a yes-men thing. I mean. Could be.